I've seen people on social media talking about castor oil and hair, mm -hmm. and I don't know what what it is. What's going on? What what do you do? Is it you do you apply it? Yes. Yeah, so you can apply it. No, castor oil um, is from the castor bean, and it, a lot of people remember it as maybe something their grandmother gave them, like as, as a spoonful, because what it does is it helps um, really relieve constipation. Let's just say that it causes quite the blowout. I have had people in other countries tell me, oh yes, we used it as a worm purgative. Oh. And I, you know, I hear the craziest things. Don't take it internally. Mm -mm. No, no. This is a topical thing that has been shown to potentially help reduce inflammation and improve uh, the hair follicle getting into that growth phase. And so castor oil, you can, you can put your shampoo in your hand and you can have a castor oil bottle in your shower with you and put just a couple of drops and just wash, you know, scrub your scalp, wash your hair or your conditioner. You can do a castor oil hair mask, just like you would do any other hair mask, uh, like a deep conditioning mask. You would, you would rub, you would put castor oil, make sure it's, you know, on your scalp. The big, huge, gigantic caveat is castor oil is a very thick oil. It's way thicker than like all over avocado oil and it's really tough to get out so don't think you're going to just listen to this hop in the shower do a castor oil hair mask and expect it to get out you're going to wash your hair a couple times to get the oil out but the people i know who do it or do it regularly um no, have noticed especially when they add in some of the supportive maybe oil uh stimulatory oils like rosemary i said being one of them um have they they're like oh my gosh it's it's cheap it's easy it's an at-home treatment and it really has it really has made a difference but don't overdo it especially with the the drainage don't overdo it yeah now with a, the other thing i have had women do is especially if they're getting um the loss of the temples or maybe receding hairline is maybe they don't put the castor oil all over their whole scalp but they kind of just rub it right at the temples and let it sit there for five or ten minutes rub it on their their sort of their hairline so just like spot treat with it um, to try to help incur reduce inflammation and encourage the flip into back into hair growth. But there are other interesting, you know, like I say inflammation. So think of like your curcumin, which is turmeric. Um, you can, you can use curc, you can take it orally, you can take it as a spice. Um, and then there's some mice studies, um, where they applied curcumin as a, like, you know, curcumin can come as a liquid, it comes as a tincture bottle. And so they've actually rubbed it all over the the hair loss part of the mice and found that it helped with hair growth. And so curcumin is orange. So be careful when you rub it in your scalp, you may temporarily turn your scalp orange in that moment. Um, but some of these, these things have been shown to be really it's reducing inflammation so that the factory can turn back on.